I see an enemy's, don't you know? Tentacles above and a foot below. The way we treat our enemies we might call rude. We sing them first and then we eat them for food. Oh, hi! Hey, Tidepool Explorers, you're back! Today we're going to learn about one of my very favorite Tidepool animals. The sea anemone! Are you ready? Hey, guess what? A special surprise. Mr. Rogers is going to be here. Can you believe it? Let's get started. I'm out in the field, out in the field, looking for tide pools out in the field. Yeah. Hello, neighbor. So good to see you again today. Did you see what special thing I was doing? I was reading a book. I just love books and the way they make me feel. I have something in here I wanted to show you. Look closely. I'll bring it up to you so you can see it really well. Yeah, this part. Look at that. It's a fish inside of something that looks like a plant. Hmm, I thought when I read this book. Wouldn't my neighbor friends like to see that more closely? So I called Trolley over to see if it was in the land of make-believe. And Lady Aberlin said, oh no, Mr. Rogers, for that you need to go to the ocean. You need to venture out into the neighborhood. Shall we? Let's go. It's just a short walk to the ocean. Can you smell the ocean air? Let's walk together. Oh, here we come right up to the ocean shore. Oh my. Look at that amazing, incredible creature. Look at all the colors. On top, there are some rocks stuck in there. Or maybe something different. Hmm. I wonder what they are. And on the bottom, the tentacles are opened up. I'm noticing something. Do you see where the water line is? Above, that sea anemone looks different than down below. Ooh. The tide's going out. Let's see what happens after the tide recedes. Oh my. Would you look at that? Those colorful sea anemones? They almost look like rocks or like little bits of sand. If I didn't know better, I would just think it was squishy sand. I should be careful because this is a living thing. Let's wait for a while and watch the tide come back in and see what happens then. There it is again, in all of its glory, the sea anemone opened up, tentacles exploring, just waiting, waiting to sting some prey, find a meal. It's remarkable, isn't it, how something that looks so closed up can open up again as if it's just waiting for the right time to show its beauty to the world. 
kind of like all of us. You know, it's okay if sometimes you need to close up in on yourself, protect yourself. That's all right, because you are special. Inside, you have what it takes to show that you're beautiful and amazing, perfectly adapted to live in this world. Hmm. And what's more, just like this tide pool ecosystem, there are others in the world who want to share life with you. It's a special place. Say hi to Ms. Cottle for me when you go visit her back in the classroom, all right? Thank you, neighbors. Have a beautiful day. Hey there, welcome back to the classroom. Let's do a little bit of reading, just a teeny bit, and find out some background information all about anemones. I have a little bit to share with you from this book, The Illustrated World of Oceans by Susan Wells. And over here, she talks about all about invertebrates, Look at all these amazing invertebrates here. And let's go into this little section called, Did You Know? Sea anemones and jellyfish are very closely related. The sea anemone is like an upside down jellyfish that spends its life attached to rocks. Look at that. Let's look at some more. Here is my favorite book about tide pools, my favorite nonfiction book about tide pools. And here we go, The Seashore Eyewitness. And this page is called Tentacles and Stings is the heading. Let's read this section. So look at this amazing big word. The coalenterates, jellyfish, anemones, and corals are the stingers of the shore. These simple creatures do not have brains or complex sense organs, such as eyes and ears. Unable to move quickly, they cannot escape from predators or pursue prey. Instead, they protect themselves and capture food with tiny stinging cells in their tentacles. Inside each cell is a capsule called a nematocyst, which contains a long coiled thread. In some species, these are barbed. In others, they contain venom. Triggered by touch or by certain chemicals, the threads flick out and then either barbs hold onto prey or venom is injected into it. Then the animal drags its victim into the digestive cavity within the body. Some jellyfish have extremely powerful venom that can cause great pain to swimmers who brush against them. Their nematocysts remain active for a while, even after the animal is washed up and dies on the shore. And then it goes on to talk about these other jellyfish. But let's go ahead and pause and zoom in over here to see inside an anemone. Wow, look at that. So I'll read the caption first and then we'll look at the labels. Anemones and their coalenterate relatives have a very simple body structure. A ring of tentacles surrounds the mouth, the only opening into and out of the stomach. When prey is caught, it is taken in through the mouth, digested and absorbed, and any remains are excreted back through the mouth. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, there's the foot, and this is the body cavity and the digestive cavity inside of the anemone. And come up here is the mouth, and out here, I bet you know what those are. Yep, those are the tentacles, that's that label. Okay, let's go over here and just check out quickly these pictures. This is a sea anemone. There are lots of different colors and its prey is the common prawn. And this one is called the green snake locks anemone. There is our little caption right there. And check this out, look at right there on the edge of each of these tentacles, the color changes. Let's read this last caption. Anemone ejects strings, a conchia, of stinging cells from its mouth to defend itself. It's very incredible.
All right, Tide Pool Explorers, let's do our field guide. If you've joined me for our other lessons, you've already done the Sea Star page and the Kelp page and your sea urchin page. And now finally, we get to do the sea anemone page. To start, go ahead and write down the name of the organism here. All right, let's make sure our labels are connected to our diagram. This first word is tentacles. And all of these over here are the tentacles. So let's bring a line right like that. And then our next word is mouth. It starts right over here. Great. And the last word starts with an F. Foot. It's right here. It connects the whole sea anemone to the rocks. This whole thing is really the foot. It's kind of a big foot on this one. Now let's create the scientific illustration. I'm going to start with the foot. So I'm going to start showing the bottom of it. And it goes up a little bit that and I'm going to show it actually connected to a rock so I'm going to create the rock here show where it comes from R O C K there's our rock and here is our foot of our sea anemone about like that there we go and then I'm going to show a few little rocks stuck onto it maybe even barnacles are stuck on here that's what all those are up there okay so now I get to show the mouth, I'm gonna come up here for the mouth, right like that, and it looks like the part out here where it's sort of all connected. And now I get to do the really fun part, lots and lots of tentacles. Take your time with this, this is where it gets to be really fun. You could add some nice color to these tentacles if you want to. I went ahead and added some color because sea anemones are just so colorful. Really, whatever color you want is probably fine because there are so many different types of sea anemones out there in the world. And don't forget that oftentimes they have color variations too. You can use a couple of colors. At the very end, I want you to look at those sea anemones, think about them, and then maybe have a conversation with someone and say, hmm, I notice wonder or it reminds me of. And write down all of your great scientist ideas right here. Hey Tide Pool Explorers, thank you for joining me this episode to learn all about sea anemones. Next time we are going to finally find some animals with a backbone. We're going to learn all about a special type of fish that lives in the tide pool. See you then! <laughs>